You're all comparing yourselves to each other. You are comparing yourself to Fred over here who has a 3.0 GPA and one exam passed. Fred's over here comparing himself to Joe with a summer internship and a 4.0 GPA. Joe's looking at Amber with five years of underwriting experience and two exams passed. And Amber's looking at you thinking, wow, you have such an advantage over me because you're a fresh grad and you have two years of data analysis experience. You see, if you're like most future actuaries, you're comparing yourself to everyone else, thinking that the qualifications that they have are better than the ones that you have. And at the same time, you're feeling discouraged. It's creating a constant noise in your head. You're feeling guilty. You're feeling behind all because you are not where you think you should be right now. Now, don't get me wrong. There are different levels of candidates, but just because you're at this level and Aaron's up here at this level, it doesn't mean that you're behind where you're supposed to be. It doesn't mean that you're too late. It doesn't mean that you have a less chance of getting hired. You both can and will get there if you become top actuarial candidate. Okay, so here's what you need to know. Everyone is working under completely different conditions than you are. So that means that there's not really someone that's ahead of where they're supposed to be, someone that's behind where they're supposed to be. You just are where you are because of the conditions that you are in. Maybe Tim over here doesn't have to work so he can spend all his time studying for actuarial exams and pursuing his career but that might not be the case for you maybe he doesn't have friends and family that he wants to spend time with I'm guessing you do have friends and family that you want to spend time with and it's a priority for you maybe his mom is in the insurance industry and she was able to connect him with an actuary that works in the insurance company and that allowed him to get his foot in the door not everyone has that you see you're comparing your qualifications right now to his qualifications right now but you're both working under completely different circumstances. You both have different priorities and neither of those is right or wrong. They just are. Will you be wasting your time if you decide to pursue the actuarial career and then later on decide that you want to leave it? Well, the answer is absolutely not. This is never a waste of time because as someone going through the process of becoming a great candidate, a top candidate for actuarial positions, you're going to be gaining so many skills along the way that are going to be valuable in tons of other positions. And aside from that, you're also going to be working in an actuarial role for at least some period of time and that in itself is going to be such a valuable experience that so many other employers in different fields are going to appreciate. You could get into things like data analysis, you could get into the financial world, you could get into other areas of insurance, you could get into accounting. There are so many different options for someone that has the skill set that an actuary or someone on the way to becoming an actuary has. You know, the you most important thing is that if you really want to be an actuary, like you really want it badly, then it will happen for you. Yes, there may be things that are going to make the journey more difficult for you than it might be for others. It might take you longer and that is totally okay, but you just have to know that every single problem, every single hurdle has a solution. If you've been struggling to fully commit to the actuarial career, even though you know it would be perfect for you, then it's probably because the negative aspects of mastery mindset are impacting you. You see all this information online about how hard it is to become an actuary, how smart you need to be and how competitive the job market is. All of that makes it kind of scary to move forward because we've been so used to success being one of the best that now we're faced with this big scary challenge that we're not 100% sure we're going to be able to achieve. The mastery mindset makes us scared to fail and that's something that we are usually not used to. And since we're scared to fail, it makes us contemplate the actuarial career. It might make us procrastinate. We might delay on starting and we might even be looking for backup options for other careers that seem more realistic. You are going to fail an actuarial exam at some point. Now take it from someone that has failed 10 actuarial exams. When it happens, it's going to suck. It's going to be disappointing. You might feel like you want to give up. You might feel embarrassed, insecure, regretful. It doesn't mean that you aren't going to make it as an actuary. You will. It doesn't mean that you are not smart enough. You are. It doesn't mean that you can't pass the exam. You can. The thing is, to achieve success in the actuarial field, you have to just accept that failing is part of it. You don't want to be someone that gave up on their dreams just because they were scared to fail, do you? So looking at this graph, we actually see that the majority of employers are actually emphasizing the need for a bachelor's degree and technical skills. Communication skills and exams were very close in line, but actually there was one more job posting that asked for communication skills than asked for at least one actuarial exam passed. And 
then related experience was also very important too. So what can we get from this? If you want to be one of the best actuarial candidates out there, you have to have all five of these qualifications. That means you need your bachelor's degree for sure. You need technical skills. You need communication skills. You need to have at least one exam passed and related experience. And if you have all five of those things, you're going to be one of the best candidates out there and you'll be eligible for the most number of jobs. And in turn, that's going to give you the best chance of getting an actuarial job. So while you are working on your actuarial journey, I would highly recommend you take into consideration these five things and understand what you're doing in order to fulfill all of these qualifications. Most people put way too much emphasis on actuarial exams. And this is something we talk about over and over and over again in the actuary accelerator community. I find that so many people are exam focused. They're putting all their energy into exams and that is absolutely not the right thing to do. And this data proves that employers care about other things even more than actuarial exams in some cases. If you follow a good actuarial career cake recipe, then you'll come to realize that there are some qualifications you have to start and sometimes finish before you move on to the next qualification if you want to get your cake done as quickly as possible. You can think of it like layers. You can't put layer five down before you put layer one down, but if layer five takes longer to prepare, then you might actually have to start layer five before you even start layer one. In the top candidate method, which is basically a recipe for an actuarial career cake, we recommend that you start with networking because it takes some time to build up those connections. Then you work on solidifying your technical skills. You can use those technical skills to get great related experience. And then, while you are getting related experience, you can study for an actuarial exam on the side. See how some layers of your actuarial career cake need to be completed before others so that your cake can come together more quickly and more flawlessly? Stop calling yourself an aspiring actuary. Okay, if you're going to put a little bit of effort in or stop when it gets hard, or maybe you just wanna see how it goes, then fine, you can call yourself an aspiring actuary. But aspiring means that you hope to be an actuary. So if you are someone that is going to do whatever it takes to succeed, do anything you can to become a great candidate and never give up on this dream, then you are a future actuary. When I was starting my actuarial journey, I thought I knew everything about what I was getting into, but it turns out I was wrong. Just like me, there might be things that you don't know that could actually change your opinion on the career or motivate you to do things in a completely different way. To make sure you get all these insights before you start your actuarial journey, go watch this video next.